Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another speed build. Today we are going to be recreating this debug item that came with Realm of Magic. It is like a broken down greenhouse. Again, it is in the debug menu, so you have to type in cheats to access it. Um, you cannot click on it or have your sims go into it, even though it looks pretty from the inside. Uh, you can kind of go through it in like live mode with the camera settings, but you really, you can't actually bring your sim inside. And I thought that was a shame. So when I was putting up my poll recently, this was one of the options, like a cool edgy greenhouse restaurant. And that is what we are making today. So you'll see, I am just tracing out the exterior of this greenhouse with some walls and some half walls. I was trying to get a basic shape down just with regular walls so I could figure out like where windows were gonna go. It was pretty easy to figure out where roofing was gonna go on the sides, like the little wings. Um, but that top dome piece, I did not know how I was going to recreate that because there's really no glass that looks like that, even in the glass texture uh, roof tiles that we get. So I was kind of stumped on that one. What I decided to do was build a tiny little room up top, like that little tiny one tile room, and then just place some roofing in the basic shape all around it and make it kind of a dome shape. And then I believe I ended up making like a second room or the same exact room and then making it have a platform on top and on top of that platform I placed the secondary dome structure which goes on top but it was very finicky and took me a very long time so hopefully you don't mind just watching me <laughs> finagle with this while you are watching me struggle though I just have some news so I finally was able to acquire the love struck expansion pack and how i did that was i went on cd keys because that is what us broke simmers do but <laughs> i really enjoyed using their website i hadn't used it before so you know just old habits i was a little nervous about using a different retailer to purchase a sims pack didn't know how that would work but they make the uh, process really really easy uh, their website has instructions as soon as you purchase it they also email you additional instructions if you need it if you also want to get the sims for love struck it is on sale right now and the early purchase content is also on there separately i think only for a dollar 29 extra so it only cost me like 26 dollars total to get the pack and the early purchase content which I was I was in I was a deal I can do that <laughs> that's totally fine so if you're in the market they also have a whole bunch of other packs and kits and game packs and stuff packs etc on that website as well it's very very handy so shout out to CD keys <laughs> they are not sponsoring this video I just really enjoyed that so thank you so much uh, but here we are finally putting in some windows I use the I think get to work windows on the bottom and then up here these are the only stained glass window pieces we actually have besides the castle estate kit those came from realm of magic so i put them in as well as the matching door with the same kind of stained glass in the front i made this little like arched entryway with some glass i used like three different kinds of glass roofing i believe on this build in general so i know that can be a little annoying but i was kind of playing around with it i like this swirly one i put on this guy right here and then i used like a little balcony piece kind of risen up just to give it more interest and then over here off to the side you'll see i placed this big pergola from oh is that from cozy bistro i think that one's from cozy bistro it could be from riviera retreat though not 100 percent sure uh, but i put this here and then i decided to get rid of that wing because that wing was giving me trouble with the roof shape i just could not get it with the roof pieces and i'm pretty experienced with roofing i just i couldn't figure it out so i gave up and i put this pergola here instead and now you'll see i'm pulling out some metal like I don't know what these are metal beams I guess and I am placing them all throughout where the walls actually go on either side of the windows to kind of make a frame for this building and I do this all along the outside walls of this building until I have everything all framed out basically because I didn't want to keep all of the walls I think the only walls I keep are these couple right here where the door is because I knew that I wanted to include that door and it needs like a wall to place into or it doesn't look right and it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't function correctly so I did have to use lots of tool mod and lots of alt placement but it did work out in the end I use them on the top and bottom floor and then I just move that pergola back into place and I think I also had to add some bottom 
pieces, like some little fencing pieces from Debug and Live Edit to really frame in the greenhouse and make it look like it was slightly enclosed. It was a very long process. It basically was all Debug and Toolmod. <laughs> so completely reliant on those two things. I just couldn't do it otherwise because I knew that I wanted it to be like all glass, but we don't have glass walls. We don't have a glass wall texture. We don't have windows that are ornate and can also cover the entire wall. So that is kind of what I was looking for because when we don't have things, we have to use our imagination. That is kind of what I had to do for this build. You also see these little tiny QB windows up top here. Um, they kind of sort of represented the top of the greenhouse that I saw in the debug image. So I just kept looking back and forth I did keep it on the lot for a while, but I just tried to make it match as best I can. I just minimized it over there in the corner of the lot, you'll see it. But I was trying really, really hard to just make this look like an old greenhouse. So what my theory is, the restaurant owner purchased this old greenhouse and decided to renovate it and he placed as many windows as he possibly could. He got the stained glass windows either repaired or replicated and that is how he made this restaurant come back to life but he did want to keep the greenhouse feel so even though he had to add restrooms for his patrons he also kept lots of plants in here he set it in the beautiful world of Glimmerbrook because it is surrounded by greenery and plants and all kinds of magical things and it just fits in really really nicely I think he also added some spandrels underneath where you know where there had previously been broken pieces of wall and window so that was that was the theory behind this whole build. It was like, okay, this is a renovated greenhouse. And now the owner has converted it into a restaurant and cleaned up everything, replaced the glass, and just gave it a new lease on life. So that is pretty much the whole exterior. And then I had to work on getting some more spandrels in and some more fencing and then a whole bunch of other debug things going on here. But yes, so back to the recap though, we have gotten the Love Struck pack. We're super excited about that. And I'm going to be starting my part two of the Mexico City Vecindad build coming soon where I'm going to be kind of going through and trading out the items I've already used for maybe some of the new items that came with that pack and I'm really excited. I might do kind of a let's build rather than a speed build so I might do it in real time. We'll see how that works. Also another update, got my computer fixed so my laptop's uh, keyboard that is built into it actually works now and I don't have to use an external plug-in keyboard. That was really annoying. It hurt my hand quite a bit because um, it wasn't on my computer and having to reach or situate it in some way where I could operate it was just terrible. And I also only have like three USB ports on my laptop in general, or actually no, two, two USB ports. So I have my external hard drive plugged in and my mouse receptor, my wireless mouse receptor, I couldn't use the keyboard. I was always trading out plugging things in and out when I needed to use them. So it was really hard to like record while also being able to operate the game, if you know what I mean. It was just, it was a lot. It took a lot out of me. So I'm really happy it is finally fixed. And it was something that they covered because they had previously fixed my laptop before anyway. So it was just included. It was under warranty. Yay, warranties. But here you'll see, I just put the little kitchen area together. I picked out a bunch of stuff from the dine out pack. And then I just arranged them around some half walls with some like glass partitions up top, you know, for safety. And then I <laughs> kind of put down some terrain paint for now just to map out like what we were going to do for the flooring. But we'll get back to that in a little bit. First, we're going to work on the fun stuff, I wanted to place these vines to best replicate the vining that is on the debug item that is down on the ground because I love the vines on this. I think they're so cool. Unfortunately, we just don't have that much of a vine selection even in debug and live edit. So I had to go digging, but there's a bunch from Snowy Escape, Cottage Living, Horse Ranch, Realm of Magic, Jungle Adventure, and a few others <laughs> to 
to name just a few, but there's there's a couple variants that I used, but I also wanted them to look like they all went together because some of them are different shades of green and I didn't want them to look completely out of place. So that was the main struggle with the vines, but I really like how they came out in the end. And I did have to use tool mod a few times to either scale something down, raise it up or lower it. But overall it came out pretty nice and it was pretty easy. And also the vining that's naturally on the pergola that came with the that is definitely Riviera Retreat Kit. <laughs> Those kind of made it easy to kind of blend in with the rest of these vines because they are a similar shade of green. I also really like using these wisterias that came with Cottage Living because there's so many different pieces to kind of mix and match together and make it look cohesive, but also just pretty and like natural, like it's, you know, it's just growing wherever it wants to. And I think that the owner really didn't want to remove any of this because he loved the charm that it gave the building. So he had a landscaper come in, trim it up, make sure everything was healthy. It wasn't going to hurt the building at all. It wasn't going to, you know, go into the building itself, but that it would still maintain its natural charm and being overgrown. So I think that worked out quite nicely for everybody involved. But here you'll see finishing up some more vining. I also really wanted to add some privacy on the side because I don't think the chefs really want everyone coming around the back and watching what they're doing in the kitchen. They're already pretty exposed when you come through the entryway. So I thought it would be nice for them to kind of have like a curtain, if you will, of vines and leafy greens and stuff like that. And then here's some more tool mod use with all of these ferns and wisteria and hanging plants in general. I'm almost done placing these last final ones. It was just a really, really long process. And then I decided to move all of the required objects around the lot so I could get an idea where they were gonna go. So we have two waiter stations over here. That's where the waiters take all of the like dirty dishes and such and they get washed so you don't need like a sink in the kitchen per se. Now I did put the hostess station out here at first but I ended up having to move it inside because for some reason my sims couldn't use it to request a table and the hosts were just kind of walking around the restaurant looking for it basically. So I did have to move it inside but I really did like it outside of the entryway like on the little front walkway but it just didn't work out that way and then I added this flooring also this is from cottage living I believe it is just an ivy covered stone I didn't really love how bright the green was but I did enjoy that it looked like it was kind of built in like maybe they grew moss in between the cracks of the stones on purpose <laughs> I just thought that was very bougie and that sounded like something you know that a restaurateur who really has a vision would definitely embark upon that seems like a really annoying process and kind of an expensive process to purposefully grow moss in between cracks of your floors but you know if you have the money go for it and then we have a lot of lavender plants going in some like rose bushes I have these very large potted plants out front to make it seem more of an established restaurant and not an overgrown mess like I wanted it to look a little bit more polished later on too off camera I add a sign to one of these pillars that's out front all the pillars are from get together by the way I couldn't figure out um where to get them so I did kind of swap them out a few times but they are from get together and I really like them they come in lots of different swatches so it's very handy here I am trying to separate the space and make a bathroom area so we have these two bathrooms on either side just use the regular bathroom door with the picture of the toilet on the outside and then on the inside we just have the toilet and sink that came with realm of magic the like swan sink and the really pretty gilded toilet and then a little bathroom organizer which is base game and then some regular field stone flooring and I have a little archway in between leading from like the actual greenhouse area where there's going to be plants down the hallway and to the rest of the restaurant of course I had to add my bathroom clutter stuff so we have our plunger and our toilet paper roll hanging on the wall and then we have like our soap pump and stuff on the sink as well I use I think it's just a little bit of a concrete texture on the wall and I think that one may be from Jungle Adventure but don't quote me on it the mirror is also from Realm of Magic and then I use these fitness stuff lights because they're kind of like crystal rock looking things I did add more behind the toilet I had like a little selection of three placed throughout because I thought that it 
gave a nice little decoration on the wall as well as being a light source. And then these curtains from Desert Lux, I did have to use tool mod to move them down a little bit because they were just kind of floating. They weren't actually on the window. I wanted to make sure they were hidden enough. So they are hidden now, you can see, by the roof trim, which is exactly what we needed. So I did the same thing on this side. Both bathrooms are exactly the same. They're pretty much just a mirror image of each other. And then I also add some towels to the wall. So I use this one from Laundry Day. The one on the <laughs> original side, I placed it, is a little too high. But I do end up lowering it when I went back in to finish up my recording. And then we have some plants going in here. So it's mostly base game, simple plants, some jungle adventures, some for rent. I believe I also use some bloom and rooms. And then these lovely, like trellisy looking things on either side of the door kind of make it look like it's built in to the door frame like it was all built together I thought that was a nice little touch and then these plants here from werewolves because they're just so pretty and I love them so much and it just keeps with the vine theme and then these topiary ones out front to kind of mark the entrance of the greenhouse again just some more base game plants I tried to fill it up as much as possible but not make it look too overly cluttered like maybe everybody just kind of brings a plant whenever they feel like it and just place places it in here so that it looks nice and they have a gardener who comes and like maintains all of the potted plants and all of the landscaping and just keeps everything looking pretty but also rustic so I think some wall hanging plants and then we have some lighting going in from Cottage Living I believe I also add some benches some stone benches that came with the romantic garden stuff and at first I had different benches here but I did replace them with the romantic garden benches because they have kind of a mossy patina on them and I thought that that added a little bit of that you know charm that it had before it got renovated some stools out here next to the bathroom for anyone to sit on while they are waiting if there's a line because there are only two bathrooms and there's a lot of seats in this restaurant and then some more plants over here by the door from growing together and I think I just add a couple more plants and like a little selection of plants from bloom and rooms and on this side we have a little green <laughs> flowering terrarium end table thing with some candles on each side I think that that is perfect and plant filled and I just very much enjoyed it and I also added more of these sconces up on the pillars which was annoying as all heck but it worked out in the end oh my it does look nice but it was a lot of work and then I did want to add some spandrels across the like upper level so that looking up you can see the spandrels and stuff so that I had to draw some fences and then add the spandrels and then take the fencing away again very annoying <laughs> I kept deleting pieces of the floor instead of the fencing which was fun but it also allowed me to put some of these hanging ceiling lights so there's actually enough light in the kitchen to see what you're cooking because it was quite dark in here because it's using outdoor lighting and not you know enclosed room lighting that you would usually have it was um it was definitely a trial and error kind of process. But now we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna clutter it up with a bunch of like spices and things you'll need in the kitchen for cooking lots of dishes. We have like some jars of olives and some peppers and some pots and some spices and a little scale and some tomato sauce ingredients out and ready to go. And of course, a whole bunch of these bottles of wine that came with the Cozy Bistro Kit. And I'm just using alt placement to put them where I need them to be. And I am blocking the slot that it goes in with that jar that I just sized down so that I could see better. And then just removing the red olive jar. And I think that's all we need. And then we have a lovely basket of fruit, which came with for rent. It's just really big and bountiful. It looks like it could have fruits and vegetables in it. So I thought it was nice to have. And then this little um, tub that has some wine in it. And that's actually like a VIP bucket is a reward for like having a certain level date or something from base game and I thought it was just fun to have so I threw that in there also added a little container of lemons and then used all placement to place these things back where I wanted them to be a little bit more organically because it just it was a little too stiff in there for me now we're just going to jump back outside and we're going to work on some landscaping and some lighting I used these outdoor lights from romantic garden stuff and some more lavender plants from I think outdoor retreat if I do remember correctly and then in here on Underneath the covered patio space, we have our tables going in. Those are from Cozy Bistro as well as the chairs in this like 
greenish teal swatch and then the matching wood tone to the table i thought they looked really fancy and very trendy at the moment so i threw those in here and then on top of the tables we have the little lights that came with cozy bistro as well as on the corner tables i placed the little stand of menus and two wine glasses and the little flower centerpiece. I thought that was nice. And those tables actually had room because they only had three seats instead of the four. Then out front, I was thinking about adding this walkway here using the same pavers, but I do end up changing my mind in the end. So that will change. But first, adding some flowers. We have some bunches of pink wildflowers. And then I sized up these blue irises and just kind of placed them within each other. I tried to make it look a little less uniform. Uh, it was very challenging because they are pretty much each a square but <laughs> I did work on it for quite some time and I think it came together pretty nicely and then to finish it off I placed some of these little tiny daisies underneath kind of blend it in and break up the color a little bit with some more white and then we have some of these bunches of yellow flowers that came from growing together uh, live edit and these lovely dogwood trees that came with realm of magic with the planters that came from I think think also growing together those round planters are in the debug menu as well more of those benches from romantic garden stuff one more tree on this side just to kind of keep the symmetry a little bit and then i did repeat the same flowers over on this side as well and i just placed them in a similar kind of haphazard fashion just to kind of blend in the space i wanted it to be pretty filled with flowers but not overwhelmingly filled with flowers i wanted there to be a lot of grass space i assume that they keep this place well manicured and then we have have more of the oopsie daisies going in there and then here instead of those pavers using just some terrain paint instead because I thought it looked a little too clunky and too intentional I wanted it to be more of like a handmade path rather than some set floor tiles instead so I threw some dirt on top of that to kind of blend it in with the rest of the lot and then I also do add some more grass terrain paint in the spots where like the grass is kind of faded because I didn't like how that looked I wanted it to be very grassy in the exposed areas and then just dirt where the flowers and stuff are so I had to use a mixture of terrain paints to kind of layer them on each other some are from horse ranch I think some are from outdoor retreat base game and then some like dirt on top just to kind of blend it all together it was it was a process I wish that they gave us like a matching grass swatch for terrain paint when realm of magic came out because i have a hard time matching this grass ever and this was no exception and then to hide this little corner piece i used another dogwood tree <laughs> so there's a little uh, tip for you when in doubt add a tree and then we have some more of these lights going in as well and after this we are going to add some rugs under the tables in the pergola area and that should be just about it before we start getting into the live mode footage so here is from the entryway of the restaurant we have the hostess at her host station taking calls and taking requests for tables and then in the kitchen they are obviously lighting the food on fire because of course they do and <laughs> the patrons just walking around back and forth all of the outfits for the hosts the waiters and the chefs in this kitchen are wearing the home chef hustle stuff pack outfits very carefully curated and they all have gloves on except the hosts the hosts do not have the uh, plastic gloves on because i didn't really think that was necessary but over here is a little view of the greenhouse side with all the plants in it people were coming and sitting down reading books and just hanging out so that was nice to see and here's our chef cooking away this time she did not burn anything <laughs> she was a little new in the first footage that i had at the beginning but i I think the kitchen is really nicely cluttered but not too overly cluttered it looks kind of functional to me so i hope that you also agree and here is just another quick view of the exterior of our build i hope you enjoyed this one thank you so much for voting in the community poll that i posted and if you see any other ones please i very much appreciate your vote because it helps me to know what you guys want to see i have a couple more in the pipeline like i said coming up soon so i really hope that you will like and subscribe and tune in for those upcoming videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.